very advanced history crap. I will be your teacher for this instruction. Now, one of the key ideas behind uh, any history course is themes. Does anyone have any themes? Anyone? Anyone? Yes? What about history repeating itself and fate and free will? Let me make one thing quite clear. History does not repeat itself. But what about Vietnam and Iraq? And how gravity is always present? I mean, seriously, if you don't believe in gravity, you should go jump off a building or something. I see that we need a bit of explanation here on this topic. Why don't we analyze this concept by going into the Supreme Court case, United States of Scotland versus Mr. Billy Alexander. I need to call your first witness stand. Yes, Your Honor. The defendant would like to call Mr. Billy Alexander Macbeth to the stand. Mr. Macbeth, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you, God. Yeah. Where's that work? I will now begin my direct examination. Mr. Billy Alexander, would you please state your name, spelling it the last for the court. Is that really necessary? I beg your pardon? Well, when you think about it, you already said my name, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to spell it. And on top of that, my name is freaking long. Is it really necessary? Well, I guess not. Fine. In that case, I have one question and one question only to ask you. Did you kill Carla Catherine? Celia. Oh, for sure. What? Billy, this isn't what we rehearsed. I heard that. I did. Excuse me, Your Honor. Let me try again. Billy Alexander Macbeth, did you truly murder her? Oh, yeah, I'm completely guilty. Carter cheating around with some Heathcliff guy. So I take her on the lake and then sleeping with the fishes. Do you realize how much you're incriminating yourself? Make, you're making absolutely no effort to save yourself. You really want, want to go this way? Yes. But why? Well, I chose to kill her. With my own willpower and everything. I mean... It's like the Japanese sitting there in the back of the court. No laws compel them to, but they had done so because we required them without calling it a law. But, still, they have a choice. It's just a matter of how we handle the forces around us. Well, perhaps you didn't choose to kill her. It is possible that fate is responsible for her murder, meaning that you were actually destined to kill her. Mm, probably not. Please explain. Well, I mean... It's not like I really wanted to kill her, you know? But you really can't blame your actions on predetermined circumstances. I do what I do because I like to do, you know? Well, you would too, if you were me, right? Don't deny it. Watching someone you love betray you like that, it hurts. I take full responsibility for my actions, and Given the second chance, I would do it all over again. But I wouldn't even get a second chance, would I? In a time like this, my fate is left up to the people I'm surrounded by. But, well, that proves it, doesn't it? I had the free will to make the same choice over and over again. I just won't get the second chance. I know I'm right. Well, Mr. Macbeth, can you tell us in your own words that had happened up until the point of the murder? Yes. Well, are you going to do it again? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, the entire thing started a few weeks ago. We were out and blah, 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 blah. Welcome to the communion of your race. Human exhibit one of a kind from Flamador Zoo.
out today. I'm glad we decided to come here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad we came. I always love the Trafalgar Scotland Zoo. Look at all the animals. They're so gorgeous. I just wish that they didn't have to be locked up in the cages against their free against their will. What will? Only on Earth is there any talk of free will. I've been right here. I mean, in your head. It seems you're somewhere else lately. Tell me a story. About what? I don't have any good stories to tell. I haven't done anything good lately to talk about. I really haven't done anything at all. Everything is all right. And everybody has to do what he does. You have the choice and the ability to do something. So do it. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom always to tell the difference. Things were rocky enough as it was then, but it got worse. My guilt for making Carla upset had turned me into some kind of giant bug. Man, was I ugly. Why do I feel so funny? Oh, shenanigans. I'm a bug? How the heck did this happen? Billy? She probably had to overcome a lot of resistance not to run away at the sight of me, even the small part of my body. Well, at least she chose to stick around. Why do you think you turned into a bug? Guilt, maybe? How so? Well, when you choose to focus on the bad things in your life, choose to focus on all the negatives, it can really change you into something nasty. But for me, I chose to push away my boring relationship with Carla despite her constant care for me. The guilt must have turned me into a bug. Oh my god! Billy! My bad. I can fix that. The apple remained embedded in my flesh as a visible souvenir, since no one dared to remove it. Because of the guilt? Because of the guilt. But where do you get the motive to actually kill Carla? Oh, that comes next. <laughs>